what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here bienvenidos my name is christina tu vecina favorita que maquilla and in today's video i will be talking about cardi b so since i did a video the other night talking about amara la negra and you know the video or the interview she had with jesse lee peterson i figured why not also just give my two cents on the other big dominican female artist who is the ever so controversial cardi b so i know cardi is only half dominican although there are some that say that that's not true that she's full but from what i've mainly seen and from what she has said her father is dominican and her mother is from trinidad however she clearly identifies most with her dominican side um i think just the way she is like the way she speaks spanish and everything she she's pretty much a Dominican so I think we can go ahead and just call her Dominican so I also want to start off by saying this may be an unpopular opinion to some but I'm not a Cardi hater I'm not um to me she is just one of those people where it's like either you love her or you hate her of course there are some that are indifferent and don't give a crap either way but I feel like for the most part people feel very passionate about her whether it is that they passionately love her or they passionately hate her and to no surprise a lot of dominicans do not like cardi b and um i don't blame them um me though i'm a little more in the middle um i don't hate her i'm not like a huge fan of hers but i'm not gonna lie some of her songs in Invasion of Privacy was bumping a little bit. They were. Um, see, I'm the type of person, I listen a lot to the beat of a song. So if the beat is catchy and I find myself like, you know, bumping to it, even if the lyrics are trash, you might still find me jamming to it. And I feel like that's what happens with a lot of Cardi B songs. Like, they're catchy. They're catchy. Um, lyrically they're not all that but um i don't know i find them to be catchy so looking at cardi's story going from you know a girl that grew up in the bronx that went on to stripping that then went on to become like instagram famous then she went on love and hip hop love and hip hop and now she is the you know the mega star that she is today i feel like you know looking at the trajectory she's kind of been through I feel like you know, on the one hand, you gotta give the girl her props. She paved a way for herself, being herself as ratchet as she may be, and now she is where she is today. She's like one of the biggest, you know, artists uh, currently. And um, and I was kind of late in knowing who she was. Like I remember seeing. A lot of memes with her face i guess that was while she, she was still in love and hip-hop like there's this one meme where she was doing like a scrunched up face like something like that and i would always see that but i had no idea that was cardi b and then later i found out she was dominican and i was like really so at that point she piqued my interest even though the more i looked at clips from her in love and hip hop i was like yo this girl is ratchet af <laughs> um but at the same time i didn't want to hate her because of the fact that i knew she was dominican but even still um i don't know i was just kind of like mm, i don't know about you just yet i don't want to hate you but i don't really like you so it took time for her to kind of grow on me but you know after like she got out of love and hip hop and then you know bodak yellow blew up and then you know i like it and all those other songs i was like okay i can get down with cardi a little bit okay i can get down with it um and briefly touching on the nikki and cardi beef i was never really team cardi or team nikki but one thing i can say is that nikki is hands down the better lyricist i mean i don't think that is disputable. I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you guys may disagree, but I think Nikki is a better lyricist. However, I do feel like Cardi's songs are more catchy. Um, I don't know, that's just that's just my opinion. Um, 
Yeah, and at the end of the day, I feel like people like Cardi for her personality. You know, as, I don't know, as like ghetto or ratchet as she can be, some people like that. And they like that she keeps it real and all that type of stuff. Whereas some find Nikki to be more like stuck up and all that crap. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but as an artist, I do think she, you know, she's earned her spot. You know, um, she's, I've seen her getting a bunch of awards and recognitions and all that. So in that aspect, I do think you just have to give credit where credit is due. Now, do I think Cardi is a good role model or representation for Dominican women? Hell no. <laughs> I do not. She's not. I mean, it is what it is. Um, as cool as she may be, or as much as I might like some of her songs, at the end of the day, she glorifies stripper culture. She kind of glorifies being a hoe and she just being vain. I mean, a reoccurring topic in a lot of her songs is money. Um, I mean, she literally had a song called Money. So a lot of it is about like, you know, money, sex, the typical topics you hear in a lot of you know hip-hop songs today so i do not feel that she is a good representation of dominican women i don't for those that feel she is trash you know i don't blame them um and i know cardi has said in multiple interviews like i'm not responsible for being a role model to your kids and this and that like that's your job as a parent I guess to kind of monitor what your kids are listening to which to an extent yes it is true but then the day as a parent you're not always going to be there every time your kid is listening to something and I know it's not fully her responsibility to be a role model to anyone but at the end of the day you attain that level of fame and you have literally everyone watching you in my personal opinion i feel like you do also have to be mindful of that and mindful of the fact that you have little girls that are looking up to you and when you're constantly just talking about either stripping or money and sex and this and that like what message are you sending so I would not let my daughters listen to Cardi B no time soon. Nah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. But um, but on the flip side, you know, her I do even though lyrically her music is not something that is going to enrich the youth and she's not promoting anything positive, um, it's still something I might bump to like uh if you're listening to it if it comes on at a club or something like i'm gonna dance to it you know that's that's just how i feel about it i might bump to it in my car stuff like that you know i might you know let the little 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 inner bit of ratchet in me come out a little bit you know <laughs> but you know i do think she can be funny and you know i do think that rawness about her like i said is what draws people to her um she doesn't put on a front and she just basically is who she is and she sometimes says too much which may get her in trouble but um she's just she's true to herself but on that same token i would like to see for her to allow herself to grow because <clears throat> you can be true to yourself because i know she feels like she doesn't want to change uh she doesn't want to feel like she has to become another person just because she, she's in the industry which is understandable but at the same time i feel like you should allow yourself to grow and mature as a person and not maybe hold on to some of the same things that she had while she was in the bronx or whatever like she's in a new stage of her life now now she's a mom so i feel like with that you also have to evolve you know and um 
I do feel like outwardly she's had a bit of a glow up like you see her dressed a lot nicer now and her makeup artist oh my god I love her makeup artist her name is Erica LaPearl she's a trans woman she beats her face and she does a great job of course you know me doing makeup I always notice her makeup looks and I'm like oh my gosh her makeup always looks so good but um yeah so I mean the external glow up is real but what about internally and something else I've noticed is that sometimes I feel like as much as she wants the fame and the money, she's kind of almost not equipped to handle fame because she gets real upset when like the blogs and the media talk crap about her. And it's like, yo, know, when you're in the spotlight and in the public eye like that, people are going to talk about you. They're going to talk crap about you. And there's nothing you can do about that. You know, I always see her going in on like the shade room for those of you that follow the shade room. And she has told him time and time again, do not post me, don't talk nothing about me, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she's just always going in on people that publicly diss her or talk crap about her. But it's like, hey, that just comes with the territory. You gotta, you know, you can't take everything you hear so much to heart. Because if you do, you're going to drive yourself crazy, you know. But something that I, I do appreciate about Cardi is... You know, I do remember hearing her do an interview, and I believe it was in Spanish, but she was talking about um, basically putting more, like, Dominican artists out there, putting them on the map, and kind of <clears throat> introducing them more into the mainstream media, which I thought is, you know, it was pretty cool, because in reality, there aren't a lot of Dominicans in the media like that. Um, there have been a few rappers from like before that they were like half Dominican, like Fabulous was one, I think he's half Dominican, but I've heard some people say Trina's half Dominican, but I don't think that's true. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but, um, yeah, I mean, who do we really have besides Nikki? I mean, not Nikki, sorry, besides Cardi and Amada, but then again, Amada, her music, I don't know, she, I feel like her, her music is going, only going to keep her, like, within a specific, like, group of people, because she's still doing kind of, like, reggaeton type of songs, so it's like, if you're really trying to cross over into, like, the American market like that, like, you're going to have to change up your music, like, you're not going to get as far doing that same type of music, but anyway, so yeah, so when I heard her do that interview, I was like, you know, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, and she did a song with El Alfa, and, you know, I'm sure that brought more attention to him. So I think that's cool. I think as Dominicans, regardless of what area you are in, whether it is as a musician, as an actor, or as a YouTuber, I definitely feel like we should be helping each other out and, you know, bringing exposure to each other. Like, I'm all for that. As you can, as you, as you guys know, I've already shouted out a few Dominicans on my channel. So, you know, I definitely think that, you know, we need to help each other out. So, those were my opinions and thoughts on Miss Cardi B, Miss Belgalis. So, let me know your um, thoughts and opinions about Cardi down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.